Hey guys, it's Joe from the all-wheel drive wagon project. Today we're going to take a look at the AS1 catch can designed and fabricated by Adam Strunk. This catch can is designed specifically for the Volkswagen five-cylinder engines and mounts to the upper timing cover. We're going to take a look at some of the features of this particular can, why I think it's the best for this platform, and I'm going to show you how to get it installed. The first thing you're going to notice is this thing is beautiful. It's a baffled and recirculating design and it's available in two construction options stainless steel or titanium. The can is internally purged during welding and features some truly gorgeous welds. Along with the catch can itself, the package also includes a brass barb fitting for the drain line, some 3 16 fuel hose, and a valve to make draining easy. In addition to what's included with the catch can, you'll need some dash tin braided line, various fittings, and a block breather adapter. Let's move on to the installation process. Starting at the upper timing cover, we're going to disconnect the two knock sensors, wiring harness ground, and the coolant sensor plug. Both the ground and mounting bolt are 10 mil. With the bracket removed, mark it for trimming. The goal here is to remove the ground bolt. Using a grinder or dremel, make your cut and round off any sharp edges. We're ready to mount the catch can. First, use the 10 mil bolt in the forward position of the oil filler neck to secure the front of the can to the timing cover. Next, thread the bolt through the ground wire first, then through the bracket, and finally through the catch can mount and into the timing cover. Reinstall the knock sensor connectors to the bracket and reconnect all of the harness plugs. Moving down to the oil filter housing, we're going to use the block breather adapter mentioned earlier. After removing the factory plastic hose, simply push the adapter in place and secure with the provided retaining clip. This will allow us to connect a dash 10 line to the filter housing. Note, if your car has secondary air injection, you may need an additional 90 or 45 to clear the pump. In this case, I've run a 90 off the block breather adapter up to the can with another 90 swivel fitting mounted to the lower port. For the valve cover, I've used the upper port on a 90 degree swivel fitting and run my line under the intake manifold to the other side of the engine. There, it'll connect to another 90 degree swivel fitting. The rear port of the can will run to your intake. The line routing you choose will be dependent on your setup and may vary. If you haven't done so yet, install the brass barb fitting into the bottom of the catch can. I'm using a small amount of thread sealant on the fitting to help it seal. Using the provided 3 16 fuel line, Slide the line over the barb fitting and route your drain line down towards the oil filter housing. The valve is open when in line with the hose and closed when not. I recommend securing the line at the block breather fitting. This will allow you to easily drain the can when performing an oil change. This wraps up the installation of the AS1 catch can. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, really easy uh, installation, only one minor modification required and a perfect OEM fit and finish with this catch can obviously being designed specifically for this engine. I, uh, I really appreciate the drain line and valve included in this package. Uh, it makes things much easier to drain when you're already down there changing your oil. Uh, the options for the line routing are great and this particular catch can comes in two different construction options, either stainless steel or titanium. With all that being said, I do believe that this is the best option for a catch can for the Volkswagen five cylinder engines and I'm going to be including everything that you need to get one of these ordered in the comments below. Once again, thanks so much for following along on the all-wheel drive wagon project, and I will see you in the next video.